Welcome to Tackling Debt. This is where we're going to teach you about baby step, wait a minute, a, a, a Discover card. Oh, there is a visa. Oh, car payment. Um, home to concentrate, Home Depot. I can manage this, no problem. Focus. Oh, my student loans are kicking in. Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond. Best Buy, another car payment. Focus, focus, Victoria's Secret, Target. Ah! Get rid of all this debt. Today we're going to walk you through on how to do baby step two, getting out of debt. See how hard it is to focus and build wealth with all that madness going around you? Ugh, it's hard to do. So we're today going to teach you three different topics when it comes to getting out of debt. We're going to go over perception versus realities. Many different ones like say credit score and wealth illusions. Second, we're going to teach you how to tackle debt, a systematic approach for you to be able to tackle your debt. Lastly, we're going to motivate you. We've talked about motivation before in budgeting and planning for emergencies. It's important to revisit this motivation and the why. Print it out, post it. If the why is strong enough, the how will happen. This is about the how and it works when you keep the motivation right in front of you. Have extra money, some work-life balance, vacations, spirituality, health. These are all really good examples of what winning with money looks like. And there's no wrong answer. It's important for you to focus on what's really important. So we need to be copying what other winners are doing. Millionaires, for example, drive three or four year old cars. They are debt free. They are givers. And they even make their own lunch and take it to work with them. The reality is 30% of employees have outstanding loans on their 401k. We owe more on our student loans right now than on our credit cards. And 39% of employees have trouble making timely credit card payments. With all those negative statistics, we're not doing that good. You know, our neighbors or even sometimes ourselves, when we're asked, how are you doing? We go, I'm fine, everything's good. Really? We have a warped perception of doing good. I'm Stanley Johnson. I've got a great family. I've got a four bedroom house in a great community. Like my car? It's new. I even belong to the local golf club. How do I do it? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. I can barely pay my finance charges. Somebody help me. Let me ask you this. When it comes to your debt, what's your favorite debt? I mean, did you have a favorite debt? Now, I know that's a stupid question. I mean, in reality, there is no good debt. You know, lots of my clients tell me they go into credit cards for, for, for credit points. It's, and we need a paradigm shift. You know, it took me a while to catch on, and it was tough to hear. I had to say no to myself and change my behaviors. The bottom line is, I found it's hard to build wealth while you're in debt. There are so many perceptions when realities. Can't have life without Visa. I fell into that trap. Thank goodness I finally saw through that one. Examine what was important to me and my family and had my aha moment. As we share these perceptions and realities with you, Hopefully, you too will have an aha moment. 